Hopefully you enjoyed some of those tones in the intro there. Um, the idea on this channel is to share some of this stuff with you as well as sort of play around the guitar. Let me know in the comments if you've ever had any tone from my videos and enjoyed using it. That would help the video get to some other people with an HX stomp I guess. Right, so the very first tone in the intro I was messing around with trying to get something a little bit different to usual. So we've got this dual pitch thing going on, so we've got it going up uh, a fifth here, then we've got it going down an octave as well. Um, by default this sense thing is down by minus five, so I wanted to just take that to be normal pitch. I think everything else is standard and stop. Then that's going into line six von two, the drive six point three, high pass filter at five, mid at five, presence at two point five, depth at two point five channel volume at 7, master at 7, sag and all of that stock and into the stock cab so I think that's basically stock von 2 settings and then we got this on the parallel path the dynamic plate so you press action when you're on this to get to the parallel path like that and the decay is super long um, pre-delay at 10 milliseconds damping at 3.7, motion rate at 3.3 motion range at 6 and then 17 for the mix and high cut taking up 10 kilohertz so that's just the the kind of um, I thought that could make a really interesting kind of sounding bass line <laughs> it's 
Okay, and then snapshot one, I've got this other thing going on. So this was a little idea that I had was like, what if we had a delay which kind of clusters in both directions? Kind of pitch wise. So what we've got going on, we've got a harmony delay here first in stereo even though it's going to collapse to mono, but harmony delay is only available for some reason in the stereo settings, so it's not available in mono for whatever reason. Then time, quarter note, feedback 50%, F sharp is the key, minor pentatonic, although I think I want that to be major pentatonic. Anyway, experiment with this depending on what key you're playing in. Yeah, so just change that depending on what key you're playing in. And V1 shift is minus 3, and V2 shift is minus 5. So you've got two pitches that are going down, and that's... Do different things. So we've got 50% time here, and 75% time here. So the scale is the amount of uh, percentage-wise time based on this. So one of those would be... 50% which would be a quaver and then the other would be 75 which would be a dotted quaver, right? Then we go into a pitch echo and a dotted eighth note up an octave. So 40% feedback and 32% and I've taken the high cut down to 1 kilohertz, uh, yeah, one kilohertz and 173 low cut. Yeah, then you get that kind of... Just an interesting sound, I thought. And I've got the tone knob kind of rolled off for that on the bridge pickup. So that's kind of the start of the video. And then I move into what I think is my favourite, one of my favourite kind of Dumble inspired lead tones that I got out of this thing. So the Line 6 Litigator, as you will know, is kind of uh, trying, to, trying to scratch that Dumble itch. That's from the creator, Ben Adrian. Um, and yeah, sort of, if you think about something like a, a two rock Dumble inspired amplifier or any of those kind of fruits or whatever, the idea for me was that this sounded something like what I'd like to sound like, uh, Alan Hines a little bit. So, um, for our lead tone, we've got the Diana drive with the gain all the way up at 10. The voice at 5.6, the tone at 4.4, level at 5.6, and then the drive on the litigator is roughly clean-ish. Bass at 6, mids at 7, treble at 3, presence off, channel volume at 9.4, master at 6.1, sag at 6.7, and as you see the rest of it. Then we're going into two cabs, so we've got a 1x12 Fullerton, 160 ribbon, 3 inch mic, and no reflection, so this is made a while ago before I started doing the reflections thing. I might these days do this. And then on the other side we've got a 1x12 Cali 4 with a 409 dynamic, 1.5 inch away. And again the reflections, I might try that. And we're going into the beautiful transistor tape, 507 milliseconds, 54% feedback, 3.6 wire flutter. 100% uh, scale, 2.9 spread, 30% mix. I would do this as well because otherwise you could potentially clip this and if you want things to stay clean and unsaturated, increasing the headroom on any of the ones that have this parameter is a probably good practice. And then a glitz reverb, 4.4 decay, 1 millisecond, high cut at 16, mix at 18, etc, etc. What that sounds like is, if you try your bridge pickup, this is going to be what sounds best, I think, with this.
is just a really responsive, bloomy kind of. So give that a try again as I say if you've found any of these videos at all helpful I'd love it if you left a comment or share it with someone or subscribe or whatever you could do let me know if you want me to drop these into the folder uh, you know you can grab these presets in the description for $2.99 or whatever it is for all of the hundreds of presets that I made these videos for if you did want to just get it easier um, but you should be able to build it from that if not I'll catch you in another video soon thank you for stopping by cheers